super effective, evil looking bros and eyes while saying, Your soul is mine. <laughs> What's up YouTube, this is your boy G back in another video. Today we're just gonna quickly talk about Mortal Kombat 2021 and how it stack up against the OG, right, the original gangster, 1995 Mortal Kombat directed by Paul W.S. Anderson. Yes, you heard that right. Paul W.S. Anderson's uh, Mila Jovovich's husband and the same director of the recent Monster Hunter movie along with the Resident Evil franchise. Anyway, back to mortal kombat hmm i'm going to say this right away all right it's a bit of disappointment it's not because it's so bad but just because my own expectation is a bit high you know higher uh with all the teasers and scorpion versus sub-zero trailer that they've been showing us recently just to ultimately be presented with an almost entirely different film which for me has no uh, Mortal Kombat charisma that the 1995 OG had. To be fair, I rewatched the 1995 Mortal Kombat just now to kind of see them side by side, you know, and really feel which one is better. Which, to my surprise, though, despite of the new MK21, I'm gonna call it MK21, having an absolutely awesome special effects. The entire movie is not even close to the OG, right? In terms of entertainment, authenticity, and uh, just sheer quality of the, uh, you know, uh, of the movie of the original 1995 Mortal Kombat film. So let me talk about the casting, right? I'm going to show you uh, some pictures here right now, side by side uh, of the 1995 cast versus the 2021 ones. And let's go ahead and check it ourselves, all right? So first... We got Kari Haryuki Tagawa as um, Shang Shu, right? Man, I don't even need to say anything on this face. Even the Mortal Kombat game itself started to mimic the face of this actor because it's just so good. You know, it's just so iconic as Shang Shu. Super effective, evil looking bros and eyes while saying, Your soul is mine. The new Shangsheng looks like a joke next to him, you know. To be fair, again, of course, that is a good actor as well, but it, it just doesn't shout, you know, Shangsheng for me. He probably, I don't know, he's probably going to be better off um, Shinnok, maybe, right? Or even Quan Chi, but just not Shangsheng, right? You can only, there, there could only be one Shangsheng. All right, well, second, um, let's go ahead and check Liu Kang here. Oh, my God. God, my boy Liu Kang, man, what happened to you, bro? In the 1995 Mortal Kombat OG, as you can see, Liu Kang is spot on. You know, it's just spot on. Like, you cannot mistake him to somebody else. His iconic hair, properly built, you know, body, and really good accent with very good acting sets him so high compared to the new Liu Kang that looks skinny AF and very lame looking. You know, personally, it's not Liu Kang at all. He just doesn't look like a, like a, like a chosen one, you know, he's a, I don't know, he's just skinny, he's just small, and I, I think it's on the accent as well, the way he speaks, it doesn't doesn't yell confidence to me scorpion um this one no doubt of course the 2021 is a lot better right i mean you know this is a back story and and you know the previous one doesn't have that the 2021 version is looking better uh, because of that backstory and take note none of the other characters has backstory here right although if i'm gonna be honest i still prefer the og you know the 1995 one um look especially uh with the with the hazy almost blind looking eyes i i didn't see that on the on the new um scorpion the new one looks like a samurai which which i get you know japanese clan and all but i really hate that they for some reason made his teeth so bad let alone his kind of a cameo only on this film right scorpion is fan favorite he's my favorite character for for you know for all mortal kombat i want to see more of him on the og if you haven't watched that i highly encourage you to watch that by the way it's available on netflix the 1995 mortal kombat one the original one just go ahead and search for it mortal kombat you will see sub-zero as the title card there 
Um, man, the fight between Cage, between between Johnny Cage and Scorpion is just so awesome. So awesome. It made me appreciate it as well because they, since it's 90s, right, um, CG is really bad. They actually uh, built the uh, the hell, the nether realm. So Scorpion typically lives uh, off a nether realm. You, know, you can imagine it as hell. On the new movie, of course, it's CG. It's not even like three seconds of of, of uh, screen time of the Nether Realm, but on the OG, on the original film, Johnny Cage and Scorpion actually fought for like several minutes on that Nether Realm, on that Scorpion layer, and they built it from like scratch. There's not a bit of CGI there. It's just. Um, bamboos and cow webs and lightings it's so awesome it will it, it actually made me appreciate the 90s um take in in prosthetics in makeup and all because they don't rely on cgi all the time because you know, again the technology is not there yet but it made it so authentic right so real so that's awesome that's awesome on that one all right, moving on, Sub-Zero. Man, the actor for this 2021 is really good, right? Both Hitoyuki Tanada, which is Scorpion, and Joey Taslim, which is behind for Sub-Zero here, are great actors, but man, Sub-Zero's costume here just sucks big time. His first costume in his first battle with Hanzo, Scorpion, looks like a looks like a baggy low low cost rag you know while you know, it's kind of loose not even fit to him while his armor in the entire movie is not even close to sub-zero's original look in the game they like kind of created something else heck he didn't even have an iconic or signature move that people will remember unlike in the og again in the 1995 one despite of the effects the 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 cheesy costume and all they they are pretty close to the game right and um his fight with liu kang is so iconic just like reptiles fight with liu kang it's every fight there is iconic uh th that's what i'm missing to the new one there's no iconic you know fight in this probably you can count it very few but not really much lord raiden oh my freaking god <laughs> I don't even want to discuss this one. Raiden in 2021 Mortal Kombat is just a big joke, all right? It's just a big joke. Um, he got a very heavy accent. You know, he's eating his words. Can I even pr pronounce some? And for some reason, he looks like a legit skinny nobody. And like Lord Raiden in 1995, OG rocking the long white hair and the iconic straw or, or rice hat, you know? He's looking very weak. And Raiden is Thunder God, right? But here in 2021 movie, he's like, he's looking like a frustrated, generic, forgettable Asian dude. You know, I got nothing with Asian. I'm a nation myself. But why didn't they cast a better Lord Raiden? Why did they just kind of like grab somebody there and you know, ask it to be Raiden? Come on. Sonya Blade. Uh, man, Sonya Blade is iconic in and in a, in a very strong character in Mortal Kombat franchise. But here... She looks again like a generic female blonde and looks pretty weak as well, right? I understand they're probably trying to make her look young and all, but she mentioned she's a special forces and been investigating Mortal Kombat for about eight years already. So at least make her look buff and all right, right? I mean, you know, maybe uh, Ronda Rousey, right? Is it Rousey or, or somebody else that kind of looks stronger, right? Um, Sonya Blade here is a little bit smaller, and, and 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 her posture is not even good on on tank top as well. So, uh, again, forgettable. Johnny Cage not even here, right? I mean, of course not here yet. It, it's a different story. They 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 kind of created something, but um, looks like he will be on the next part. So hopefully, uh, the the casting for him will be pretty good because honestly, the main problem of this uh, 2021 film is the casting. Right, of course, the special effects is spot on, but Jax looks bleak. Cole Young, the new character, is uh, really good. You know, really good actor. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him that. I know this actor, but his character is pretty laughable. And again, Shang Tsung and Liu Kang casting is just awful. You know, it's just awful. It's just pretty.
pretty bad. One exception though is Kano, right? Plus Kung Lao, those guys are awesome. And Cabo's character as well, pretty nuts, pretty nuts. Uh, too bad they're just pretty much like a like a supporting character you know only but but they're good you know i actually prefer their characters like i remember most of them other you know unlike the others right so i, I like their character i like those um cabal kung lao and and k no i just remember they're just all letter k so maybe Maybe something in the queue in that one. But overall, though, after rewatching the 1995 Mortal Kombat film again, with, uh, which sucks big time, by the way, on special effects, because again, technology, I appreciate how good a 90s film can be, right? Despite of really bad CGI due to the technology back in the day, in return, um, they, they use practical sets, right? Prosthetics, makeup, really good costume, and they're even looking better than today's CGI galore. Because, of course, right now, they're just going to use CGI all the time. But before, they put effort on what they do, right? They build stages. They build setup. They they shoot on beach, for Christ's sake. Right now, they just shoot somewhere cheap and just CGI everything, right? CGI everything. Plus, the martial arts before, back in the day, is, you know, 90s, is really big. And as a 90s kid, you know, I appreciate the OG 1995 Mortal Kombat more, despite of having a low, um, you know, low, low uh, score. Generally, Paul Anderson film has low score, but as a gamer myself, I always love um, his creation, right? Character buildup is great on that one, which sucks in the new one. Like, you won't even care on the new characters. Even they die, you don't really care about them. The experience is just unforgettable in the old one, right? It, it's just so good. Uh, I, I can remember clearly in my head right now, even though it's 995, what was that, 25 years ago? I still remember all of the parts, the battle, you know, uh, the, the iconic music. Oh my God, the Mortal Kombat music is not even on the new film. That is just so iconic and unforgettable, which I cannot say the same, you know, on the new uh, 2021 Mortal Kombat one. I hope though that there will be a part two still, even though... I think this probably have a low, uh, you know, income revenue as well. But I hope there will be a part two, and I hope they make a series or universe out of this, as well as a Street Fighter, right? Because I'm really super ready to be a child all over again. I love Mortal Kombat. I love Street Fighter. So bring it on. Give us. Give us our childhood memory, guys. But that's all for today, guys. Let me know your, your thoughts about this. Do you prefer the old one as well like me or the new one? Maybe it's just me being what we call bad in 90s, right? That's why I prefer the old one. But I don't know. Just go ahead and put your comments down below. If you prefer, if you prefer the new one, just put MK21, baby. You know, all means, by all means, no worries. Or you can put MKOG, right? That's... That's the old one, which is the 1995. Me, myself, I like them both. I mean, you know, I just uh, like the old better. Right? It's just better. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click the like button if you like this video. Comment down below. Again, if you have some thoughts, subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed yet. But um, thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and see you on my next one. Peace.